Okay, I've been asked to uh, come up with a diagram for an isolation relay that you may use uh, on a, uh, well, oil, gas, you know, whatever. Sometimes you need an isolation relay. Uh, not a lot of times, but sometimes you do because you don't want to mix low voltage powers. So this is just one that kind of shows you a diagram. And I thought we'd simply go over this thing. If you look at it, uh, you can see on the left is a transformer. On top is a thermostat. There's an isolation relay in the center and an oil primary with the two TT terminals. Those are thermostat terminals. Because the oil primary has its own power source that's powered from the uh, incoming power, uh, you don't want to mix that up with, say, power source for an air conditioner or something. So in this case, we're using an isolation relay. Now note from the transformer, R goes to R at the thermostat. That's uh, heating power. And W comes off the thermostat. Okay, W goes down to a three terminal on the isolation relay. A three or that could be a coil. Uh, most coils are, are marked one to one and three. And you can see that W goes down to three and the common goes to one. So that'll energize that relay. Now I've got terminals underneath 2 and 5. Uh, these are variable depending on the type of relay. And I'm going to show you some relays at the end of this. And those will be a normally open relay. So all it has to do is have one of the T terminals go to 2 and the other go to 5. That's really all it has to have because normally open set of contacts is going to close when it's energized. So sequence of operation, R closes to W, completes a circuit to 3, you already have power coming at 1, uh, really energizes, uh, normally open contacts between 2 and 5 close, and the oil primary is uh, started. That's really all there is to the wiring of one of these. Now this is a very simple wiring. This is just heating only wiring. Now let's take a look at a few of the uh, relays you might see. Here's a couple of different relay configurations you might uh, use for an isolation relay. This one here is a uh, single pole, uh, single throw normally open. This one here is a single pole double throw, and this one has uh, several, well it has two switches in it. Uh, you'll have to look at each one of these closely. Uh, there's a diagram on the side, uh, or it's printed, you know, uh, on top of it like this one. So those are the relays you might see used in this application.